you, you seem to have been very, very alone in your upbringing. A lot of the uh, Viet community down south in my time, Biloxi, Mississippi, some other places out out by you know Dallas, they they come in in groups. There's entire families that come and they resettle, you know, from the refugee camps. Were were you and your mother and your brothers, you know, alone in Fayetteville? No. So Fayetteville, I want to say, is a is a mixed town because of the military. Uh, population, right? So a lot of military marries foreigners, so very mixed town. But when, when you're saying the Vietnamese uh, refugees, I wanted to bring this because this is another incident that led me to who I am today. It was when I was 11. First, my uncle, right? He gave me that speech. Another later on that year, my mother would drive across town, and dude, we would drive hours, hours. She would drive to to drop off food to these refugees, mm. right? And I, I, I told my mom, I, so I asked my mom, I'm like, mom, why, why do you do this? Why do we waste all day driving across town to get food to people that don't even care? They didn't even say thank you. Mm-hmm. And my mother, she stopped the car, she grabbed me, and she, she said, look at me. She said, you know, son, it, it, it doesn't matter conditions or circumstances. If we can, we must help others. And in doing so, we create a better world. You see, that's Confucianism. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.